don't even think about it. All right, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and get started right away because I just am. So today's video, I'm doing a quick do. We'll see how quick this actually ends up going, but I'm gonna be recreating the look that I posted on my Instagram last week. You guys really wanted to see a video on it, so I said, okay, 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 here we go. So today I'm gonna be using the KKW Mario palette, uh, this shade, Loyalty. Um, this color I really, really like, and I am also gonna be using a few shades from this palette, the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Remastered palette. I'm using suede in here, so I'm using kind of like not warm brown tones, which, oh my God, that's so weird for me, right? Not warm browns. So basically any taupe shadows you can find that you really like, this look really looks good with. In my opinion, I like the fact that it's like cooler browns mixed with like the bluish tone. So I'm gonna start out with the Huda Beauty palette, the shade Demure. It's a really subtle light pink. This is what I use for the blending color. So you can use, you know, whatever blending color you want. And I've never used this palette before it was remastered. I know that there was one before and then this one came out. I don't know if it's the exact same. There is quite a bit of fallout when you tap your brush into it. See, I just tapped into Demure, um, also suede, black truffle. It's It doesn't fall out on my face. It just is really powdery in the pan, but that doesn't really bother me. I, I know how to work around that, but I can understand if that's something you don't like. So just keep that in mind. So I'm just using a fluffy brush and I'm gonna add this into the upper crease area. And I take this all the way, like where I contour this area, all the way out here. So it's basically gonna be kind of a wash on the whole lid. So I'm filming on, uh, what John called this my cow backdrop today because I can already tell this is not gonna be a quick toot. I'm filming on this cow backdrop because my room that I film in is under construction. If you guys remember, I talked about how I wanted to switch out the cabinetry and it's like, you know, half of the cabinetry is switched out right now, but it's not painted yet. So it's just looking real interesting at the moment. And I also turned one of my extra bedrooms into a closet because I've been using it as a closet full time for a year now because we don't really have guests often enough to use that room as a full time guest bedroom. So. I've been using it as a closet and I had wardrobe racks up in there and a dresser. And I finally decided to make that into a permanent closet because it just makes more sense. And they just finished construction literally like an hour ago. So now I'm gonna come in with suede because this is the lighter shade of the two. So then we're just sticking this one right in the crease and the outer crease right here. I'm just gonna keep adding it and building it up as I go. I've been obsessed with applying shadow on the inner corner to connect with the contour. I just, I love it. I feel like it makes the inner corner look so much bigger. Gives you a lot more real estate when you just bring it all the way up. Don't be scared, you guys. If you're thinking about it, just bring it way further up than you used to. Just try it out. I've realized and I've come to realize over the past few months that I'm really, really bad at managing my own stress. Forever, a problem that I've had is I always internalize things that actually bother me and I tend to not talk about it for a long time and then I just completely implode and I shut down and it's just really bad for me and everybody around me. So it's something that I'm very conscious of now and I'm trying to work on. But one of the, like the reason I'm even talking about it is because when I film makeup videos, I tend to do that to myself. I overthink things, I overstress things. I feel like it has to be something totally different than what I just want it to be. So that is a lot of the reason why a lot of the makeup looks that I that you've seen, maybe I haven't filmed. And that's something I'm trying to work on. So like today, I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna talk it out while I'm doing this eyeshadow look that I did the other night that I got a lot of requests for. I was like, let me just talk it out. I don't know, I think talking about my emotions, you guys may or may not know this about me, but it, makes me extremely uncomfortable. All right, so next I'm going in. I'm like, okay, now I'm gonna change the subject. Next I'm gonna go in with Loyalty. This is the darker color from the KKW palette. I just tend to like shut down when I get overwhelmed. And I know that's a very common thing. And I typically don't like to talk about the reasons why I'm stressed or what's making me shut down because I feel like I'm complaining or I feel like there's, you know, people with way worse problems than me. So I don't want to talk about it, but when it comes, which is true, everybody's dealing with different things. Everybody's going to be stressed about something different. So we shouldn't just totally invalidate. Is that the word? Invalidate our own feelings, which is what I do a lot. I'm like, oh, that's stupid of me to stress out about that. Just stop. And then I try and tell myself to just stop and then it doesn't work. And then I just end up getting more stressed out and then I end up watching Grey's Anatomy for like five hours. All right, so right now I'm just taking some of the suede color and blending it in onto the lid. So this is kind of like a smoky eye, but because of the inner corner and I'm not packing really heavy, like dark shade all over the lid, 
it doesn't feel like as heavy, if that makes sense. Because a lot of times when I used to do smoky eyes, I would just do black eyeshadow all over the lid. And sometimes it just made me feel like like my eyes were heavy. So this is something that I really like to do that I think is a really good in-between kind of option. And then also bringing the crease up higher really opens the eyes and it makes the eyes look a lot bigger, which we also love. And then I'm just gonna come back in with a little bit more of the KKW color and just keep adding it on the outer edge over here. I'm just gonna bring some of this pink down here. This is this big ass brush. <laughs> okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is the inner corner, which is Ugh. The inner corner just gets me so effed up in this eyeshadow look. This is the Melt Blush Light in the shade Shadow Play. It looks white in the pan. It looks kind of white on my finger and it almost looks kind of white here, but it has like a greenish blue reflection to it. There's so many different highlighters that have that kind of sheen to it too. So if you guys have like a highlighter that has something like that, um, some of the Wet n Wild ones. So I'm using uh, Real Techniques as the detailer brush and I'm just gonna go in to press and then lightly buff it upward like this just and you can also hit it with a little fix plus boom boom and then go right on top of it and that'll make it even more intense which is what i did the other night it's kind of living for it you know one thing i think that does play a huge or has a big impact on stress, even if we don't realize it, even if a lot of people don't talk about it, is social media. I think it puts so much pressure on us and I think it's totally affected me, even though I don't like to admit it, I don't like to say that it's had an effect on me, but I think it has. There have been many times where I've like lost my sense of self and like I just get lost in this Instagram, YouTube world and I kind of forget a little bit of who I am. It's crazy because social media has had so many positive impacts on my life, it's changed my life so much. I feel like it's connected me with so many amazing people, especially when I meet you guys. Like I spend so much time behind a camera and like I know I'm talking to you and like I see all your comments and I see your feedback, but it's when you actually see people in person, that's extremely impactful. And it's like really important to me, which is why I'm really excited for, I'm gonna be at BeautyCon this weekend and then I'm also going to Gen Beauty in San Francisco um, the week after that. Yeah, social media has had such a great so many positive impacts on me, but it's also affected me negatively in a lot of ways. But I've never wanted to say it out loud, but I'm saying it out loud right now that it, it has. And it's definitely been a journey over the past few years. So next I'm gonna put some liner on. This is the Fenty Beauty Fly Liner. I've been using this a lot lately. It's just super easy to use. But I'm just lining the lash line here. It also feels like I've been like half living in my house for the past year. You know, it's been a year since we moved in. You know, I still haven't gotten any furniture for my office space or like my filming space. I know, I think that's been kind of like frustrating that I'm just sitting here with like a half lived in kind of place that I utilize or use every single day. So that's something that I'm working very hard towards getting furniture in here and getting a little bit more decorated. I'm just afraid to buy furniture because what if I don't like it? Like I already bought and returned a sofa and that was not fun. I do not want to do that again, okay? This is really dangerous doing this right after I put on mascara, but I'm doing it. Okay, I'm gonna pop a little bit of the ColourPop concealer underneath the lash line, which I don't remember if I already did, but I'm just gonna go ahead and do it again. By the way, I'm obsessed with this for eyeshadow base. It's been working really great. I don't like really using it on my, like as a highlighting concealer. Like it's a good concealer, but it's not my most ideal formula for under my eyes, if that makes sense. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start with Demir and we're gonna start bringing it down into the lower lash line. So I'm gonna start like right here and then suede. I really liked leaving the inner corner kind of a little bit more straight rather than curving it up with my lower lash line. So I've been doing that also pretty regularly. I feel like it also makes the eyes look a little bit more squinty in the best way, like sultry. Okay, and then boom. Bring it in, bring it in. All right, now I'm just taking a little bit of matte black shadow and tapping it just on this outer edge. Okay, and when I did the waterline, when I posted this look on Instagram, I used two Makeup Forever pencils, but I wasn't crazy about the way it turned out. I was trying to make like a misty bluish green color, but it was kind of like, whatever. One blue waterline color I love is this one from LA Girl, the shade Aquatic, but it's like too bright blue. 
So I'm gonna try this one from Marc Jacobs. This is Blew Me Away. This is more of a shimmery blue color. And if it ends up being too blue, I can always just go over it with some white and kind of make it look a little bit more milky. I wonder if I'll like this one better. This is the shade Deja Blue. It's a little bit more of a milky blue color. Let me just try this one. Oh yeah, that one just kind of applies. Whoa, <laughs> that one applies a little bit better. Okay, now I'm gonna sandwich some black. This is the same matte black shadow and I'm gonna bring it right up here. And what I like to do, I also like to cover whatever went onto the lashes from the waterline color. Just makes it a little bit easier when putting mascara on. All right, next step is the lashes. And these are definitely way fuller lashes than what I typically wear. Okay, half of them just fell in the trash, but I got a bunch of new lashes. Just trying out some new styles. I thought maybe it would like help inspire me to create different makeup looks. So this is the style that I was wearing. Same exact pair, I trimmed and bound quite a bit. Normally they go from like this to the very edge over here and I don't like them that long on my eye. It looks, I think it looks kind of crazy on me. I think it looks really good on other people when they leave them really long, but I can't. I can't do it. So I trimmed them down a lot, but this is this style Carmel. <sighs> Lashy. Damn. These are those type of lashes where you better have that lower lash line a little bit smoky to go with the top half, okay? All right, now we're going into, normally in a quick toot, I would not do foundation, but I know when I skip over foundation, you guys look at me like, why did you do that? So. <laughs> I'm gonna quickly do my foundation, Smashbox Studio Skin. So I've been wanting to film some more keto, vi keto videos. You know, it's funny, I'm actually about to film one right now. We're gonna film the cheesecake, which I'm like excited for because I've been wanting to film that video, but at the same time, I'm like, damn, there's gonna be a whole cheesecake in the house. I have no self-control around it, like zero. Anyway, so I just wanted to, you know, see what you guys are interested in seeing. I know this is something that I let prevent me from filming videos that I really wanna film is a lot of people will say like, oh my God, all you ever talk about is keto, which I don't think I do, but I just have so, so many people ask me questions about it. So I kinda wanna just film more videos on it. And also I'm just really genuinely interested in it too. You know, I'm gonna be totally honest with you guys here. I really did keto because I had so many trips coming up. I just wanted to hurry up and feel good about myself. I didn't know if it was gonna be a long-term thing for me. I didn't know how I was gonna feel. It sounded ridiculous before I started it. It's not really a diet for me. Like I don't even wanna call it a diet anymore. It's like just the way that I eat and the way that we eat in this house now. For the most part, you know, I still have times where I'm like, I eat key lime pie in Florida or whatever. You know, I still have moments like that, but for the most part, my everyday eating, I don't plan on going back. So I just kind of want to share the experience and it's definitely not me trying to force my lifestyle down other people's throats is what I want to make sure that is clear because I don't want it to come off like that at all. I think there's like low key fallout all over my desk right now. Um, but now I'm gonna be doing the concealer. This is the Too Faced Born This Way concealer. You know, I've been jamming to this. This is the shade Nude. Nude tude. One thing I've been wanting to do is like, John and I have been talking about a lot lately is balancing personal and work life. Like, especially I think working from home, it's so funny when I didn't work from home, I always thought like, wow, if I worked from home, I'd be so much better at managing my schedule. I'd make time for this, this, and this. And now that that's the case, it's like so not true. But <laughs> that's something that I'm working on, just making more actual personal time for us to like spend time together and spending time with friends. It's important for me to like, make time for myself and go do things that I really genuinely wanna do. One of which is I would like to go to more concerts. I used to go to concerts all the time and they were so much fun. So yeah, we've been trying to find just like a good balance of how do we make time for that kind of stuff? Is it like, do we schedule it? No, do you guys, do you guys have like a, I don't know, like a date night? Like, do you have like a scheduled time where you just try to make time for yourselves? Or like, what, what do you guys recommend doing? I think working from home just makes me feel like I should always be doing something here especially when there's always so much incoming. I just, I get over, again, I just get overwhelmed and I'm like, Meh. take 10 steps back and just ignore everything. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys what Priscilla Ona did when she did my makeup. I love it, I've been obsessed with it. I've been doing it all the time. By the way, if you haven't seen that video, I did a video with Fenty for their new Moroccan Spice collection. It's on their YouTube channel. I'll link it down below if you guys wanna see it. I look like a completely different person. It was so much fun. And Priscilla did my makeup and I learned some stuff from her, so. These two matchsticks, I am not a fan of the concealer matchsticks, but these are like amazing. So this is the shade Rum and this is Yacht Life. So she mixed these two together and used them as a blush. So that's what I've been doing. I mean, here is Rum, how pretty. 
is that color. Oof, I think I'll put a little bit of powder. I mean, this concealer is so good that it doesn't really crease anyway. But I'm just gonna put a little bit of powder directly on my under eyes, so just right there. And this brush is the Smashbox Buildable Cheek. All right, so I'm gonna rub some of the rum. So I'm just kind of... And then... Even just this color looks... Oof. I also did an IGTV video. I vlogged that whole day and I didn't know, like I was like, oh, let me try and put it on IGTV instead of YouTube, just... It's a very vloggy, vloggy vibe, but you guys should check that out too on my Instagram. But look at this, like, is this not like the most bomb? I think there's still a little Yacht Life color in my brush. This is one of those I could put on all day long. So then I'm gonna take just a little bit of Yacht Life and then I'm just gonna tap it right here. All right, so now I'm gonna finish setting. Just right in here. All right, I'm gonna take my bronzer. This is that MAC bronzer that I don't know how to pronounce. I like to call it the banana bronzer. And then I'm gonna add some glow. This is the NARS Fort de France highlighter. I just kind of get up in that thing. I'm gonna take a blending brush. This one has nothing on it. This is a MAC 217. It's a pretty big brush with some of the demure shadow from this palette and bring it down. I need Fuego for this. This is a Fuego requirement right here to do this. So I shared it on Instagram stories, but I've really been loving these pencils from Makeup Forever, the Artist Color Pencils. They look like this. You could use them for eyes, lips. But the two shades that I've been using are Total Taupe, which I use very sparingly, and Wherever Walnut is the one that I've really been like obsessed with. It's funny, because when I used to do my lipstick, I would literally just trace the shape of my lip, and I have naturally just a very sharp Cupid's bow, and I remember a lot of people really hated that, and now I'm just lining literally over it, which I would have never done. This seems weird, right on top. A lot of people hate that too. <laughs> okay, and then I'm gonna take the Total Taupe color, kind of enhance the outer edges a little bit, Kind of fill in right here. It's like lip contouring, if you will. I'm gonna do some down there too, but I don't think I wanna do it on there. Just, just a little bit. I'm gonna go in with something a little bit deeper. This is Lazy Daisy, a liquid matte from Dose of Colors. So I'm gonna do like a light layer. That shade dried down a little bit, which is what I wanted. And now I'm gonna add No Shade, our Dose of Colors, Desi X Katie. I've been using this so much, especially to plump the center of the lip. I just kinda tap it here. And then all the way to the top. Hella plumper. Finish it off with some of the Cover Effects Illuminating Setting Spray. shake and bake. All right, and that is the finished look. I'm really glad you guys requested a video on this look because I'm glad I get to wear it again. So that wraps up today's video. I just wanna thank you guys for listening to me, hanging out with me, chatting with me. I actually do feel better. I feel like that helped relieve some of my stress, just saying it out loud, because I don't really do that very often. A lot of the times, even when I do talk about my feelings and my emotions, I tend to joke right after because that's just how I cope with things. Very Chandler Bing. And I'm going to work on creating a lot more videos. I am gonna not let stress or other things get in the way of stress stopping me from making videos or overthinking things. That's like my goal. I'm putting it out there into the world. Currently, that's my current mental goal. Please make sure to let me know what you guys would love to see in the future. If it's more tutorials, if it's less tutorials and more like lifestyle stuff. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. You guys look who came to visit me. Ah, it's Taz. She officially has a name now. Look. Do you see how long her legs are? She goes like this, but look, has, it's official, your name can't change again. Uh, even though, oh, thank you, Zoe. Oh, I lost the fucking... John!